I'm sorry I've not made a video uh, most recently. Uh, I've not been well. Um, but I have a lot of gratitude. Um, I was in a lot of pain, spasms, and also my right eye wouldn't stop shaking. And maybe that's a vanity thing, but I'm really uncomfortable with it. But let me tell you about my gratitude. If I did not have a baclofen pump that's implanted inside me, I'd be in much worse, worse shape. And that is, I have a home nurse that comes and number one, checks on the, on the baclofen pump, but number two, uh, by doctor's orders through a computer at my own home can up the dosage of it. And that's just starting to take effect now and I'm starting to feel better. I'm not getting the tremors I used to, nor the spasms. So I'm really, really grateful for that. And that's going to lead me into a little bit of what I want to talk about with you today, if we can please, is the gratitude of no contact on Mother's Day. And I remember all so well two things when I reconnected with my narcissist is that, oh my God, I'm going to have to be in that environment again, that toxic environment. I'm going to have to watch the dings, the zings. I'm going to have to watch the lies. I'm going to have to watch the insults between everyone else. And what a horrible way to spend what is supposed to be a family day. So I'm grateful I'm not going to be in that environment again. I'm also very grateful because I remember the time when I first broke no contact again. And that was a very, very difficult period for me. And for those that you who are just going through that newly no contact with a narcissist on either a Mother's Day or a Father's Day, what you may be doing, and what I certainly did, is look to myself that I must be the problem that I did this to myself. That they're all talking about me and I brought this upon myself, it's my own fault. And over a little bit of time, you realize the truth to that. Over a little bit of time, you start seeing clarity of what really the problem was. Over a little bit of time, you start gaining gratitude that you do not have to be placed in that toxic, sick environment. So my message to you today is, if you are feeling at all a little bit down on yourself, a little bit hard on yourself, if you're even thinking for a moment that this is because of you, well, please accept this. It is not. And please give yourself a little room to have gratitude. Be grateful that you do not have to be in that toxic environment. In fact, not being there, not being in that surrounding gives you time to enjoy what you're really supposed to be doing, enjoying a healthy life. And I want to tell you something. You may not feel it now, but over time, second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, you're going to feel that. You're going to see that toxic or those toxic thoughts decrease. And you're going to see the gratitude of what you should really be experiencing in life grow in time. Those of you who are still in contact that want to get out of that contact and you're, and you're feeling guilty because you can't do it yet, easy. It'll come. Every single one of us have gone through that same exact thing where it might be the period that you're in now, where we thought we're never going to get out of this. I hate being here or I, I, I don't have the power. I'm too weak to make no contact. Give yourself a break. You're going to get there. You are going to come to a period where you are comfortable whether it be emotionally or financially, going no contact. 
And that doesn't just mean if, it, if your abuser is a parent. That could be also if it's a spouse, a lover, a friend, or anything else. Don't be so hard on yourself. Take it for somebody who, if I could, I'd write myself a letter going back four years and try to explain this to myself that you don't know it yet. You can't feel it yet because you have to go through all this pain, disbelief, and horror. It gets better. Not only does it get better, it opens the doors for you to start what you really should be doing, and that's enjoying life and getting those toxic messages out of your head. If you're feeling bad on this Mother's Day, just remember this. You're no contact for a reason. You didn't just pull this out of the sky. You didn't just wake up and choose to be no contact. Things were done to you. Things were done upon you that caused you to at least question going no contact, to at least wanting to protect yourself and, and say, I don't want to be feeling like this anymore. Give yourself a break today. Have gratitude, either knowing that you don't have to go through it or soon you will no longer have to go through it. I'm wishing you peace today. And I'll try to get back to my regular video schedules as soon as I possibly can. I'm grateful for each one of you today also. Wishing you peace.